ever have that time in your life where you're either super duper duper jet lag, aka that's me because I've been traveling for three weeks straight, or you're like completely burned out from work, school, family issues, your motivation is out the door, your laziness is right here watching Netflix with you in your bed. Um, yes, I get you. We've all been there needing to press that hard reset button in our lives. Today, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Hannah. If this is your first time in my channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe. We do a lot of these kinds of self-help videos in this channel because guys, it takes a lot of process to get your life back together. And if my life is falling apart, you guys are gonna build it back up with me. Today, we are gonna be doing what I call my reset routine. Something that I do when I need to get my life, my motivation, my sleep back in check. So if you feel like you need a reset in your life right now or you just want to watch this sad, lazy, unmotivated, jet-lagged girl do something about her life, continue watching. No, I'm just kidding. Grab it, man. Honestly, I'm just jet-lagged. So anyway, let's begin. Step one, wake up early. Wake up as early as you can and get a healthy breakfast. Let's go. Coming at you from the kitchen, guys. Today, we are going to be making some oats rice. Why oats rice? Well, two reasons. Number one, substituting white rice with a super grain like Quaker ensures a healthier heart because of lower cholesterol, more fiber, which keeps you full longer, and two times the protein as compared to white rice, of course. And number two, one of my idols here on the YouTube scene, Salan Yusaf, actually collaborated with Quaker to come up with quick, easy, customizable recipes. And I want to try one out today. If you guys want to check out her other recipes, I'm gonna leave the link down below to her channel and you can check that out. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna be late for my workout if I don't start now. Recipe on screen, please. We're not gonna follow that to the T because food is your food and it is customizable and you guys can change up the recipe, you know, tweak it a bit. I have so much energy right now. This is just not allowed. So we've got our pot over here. We're gonna be putting in some of our super grain. Um, One tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and two cups of water. So I'm just gonna make sure those are all mixed in. Now we're gonna cut some veggies because why not? No, I'm just kidding. The recipe says so, so we gotta follow the recipe, you know. We're gonna get some garlic, dalawang cloves. We're just gonna smack it, smack it, smack it in the air. We gotta mince. <laughs> what a cook! We're gonna get our onion and we're gonna cut it in half. Yep, nayan. I'm not a very good cook. Okay, we're just gonna work with what we have here. These are pretty easy recipes. I mean, come on, Hannah, you could do it. It's kind of like fried rice on steroids. Onions, chop. Garlic, chop. Oats, cook it. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna put in the oats. I wanna be fancy, so I'm gonna put some egg on top. Our meal today is vegetarian, which means... Mommy, wanna share? <laughs> Step number two, it's time for a workout. Let's go. Now that our workout is all done, I can move on to step number three, which is to basically do my morning routine. I've been traveling, as you guys know, so I've completely disregarded my morning routine, and the best mornings are those with a routine, honestly. Mine basically consists of taking a shower, cleaning my room, devotions, meditation, brainstorm journaling. Um, oh, in this case, unpacking as well. So if you guys want me to do like an in-depth morning routine video, I could do that for you guys as well. You could leave me a comment down below. Be like, Anna, we want a morning routine. I'll be like, all right. Okay, I'm gonna get on with that. I'm so sticky and dirty and sweaty. It's just disgusting. Let's go. Let's go. 
So I just finished my meditation. I actually checked out my Headspace app, which is the app that I use when meditating. And they had a hit restart meditation practice, which is super perfect because that's exactly the video that I'm doing today. Um, so I just listened to that and it really calmed me down. The next thing that I do after I meditate is I do what I call brainstorm journaling. And it's basically a time where you just sit down and brain dump, as in brain dump. This is super essential when it comes to restarting because one of the reasons why I want to restart is because my head is spinning and I have all of these thoughts and they're not organized and everything. So brain dumping and just writing down everything that you think and your thoughts allows me to be like, okay, that's what's inside my head. That's what's been bugging me. There are three things that you guys could do to align your thoughts. I don't know. Um, This is the way that I do it because I have specific concerns at the moment. You could adjust this process based on whatever it is that concerns you. But there are three things that concern me at the moment. There are my plans, my budget, and my purpose. Um, I think these are very important things to look at when doing resets. So the first one is plan. So under plans are multiple things depending on whatever it is that you do. Me, I'm concerned with my work, aka my videos, events, talks, meetings, all of those things. The next thing I'm concerned with are little errands, stuff that kind of bug you every now and then that you're like, oh gosh, I forgot I have to do that, I have to do that, I have to do that. These are really little things that kind of keep you afloat and keep you sane. Like for example, I need to develop these I used some sweaters during the winter so I need to have those dry cleaned um, or I need to go to the grocery. And the last thing on the plants that has been concerning me has been my room. It's usually the state of my room. I like everything cleaned and um, I'm planning to redecorate my room so I need to start um, putting together my thoughts, do a little um, mood board buy some furniture, all these things. So those are the three main things under plans that have been concerning this little brain of mine. And then number two is budget. I think about money a lot. So usually during these resets, I write down how much I have in my account, how much I can spend, how much I can save, how much I can invest, how much I can give to the church. Plans, budget, and lastly, purpose, which I think is the most important thing. When it comes to resetting your life, it's good to remind yourself why you are here in the first place. What is it that you are striving towards? What are your big goals? What are your big dreams? Just write everything down because if you have a clear picture on the trajectory of your life, then it's going to be easier to get there and you're going to have the motivation to do so. So um, mine are very close to my heart and very private so i'm not going to share those with you guys um but basically i have big dreams to be the best person that i could possibly be to glorify my god and i have specific ways to do that and you have specific ways to do that so just remind yourself um every now and then so yes, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to Quaker for sponsoring this video for that healthy breakfast. Actually, you know, this morning, I didn't even notice that I was not eating rice. Like, honestly, it tastes exactly the same. I think we were kind of wired ever since we were small to, like, associate oatmeal with fruits or sweets or chocolate. But it can also be, like, a savory thing as well. Like, it tasted exactly like fried rice. If you guys want to check out the other recipes of Salen, again, you guys, can check out her channel i'm gonna leave the link down below and that friends was our reset routine i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye